Are you even going? Oh, there it goes. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another week of FCL Esports League of Legends Action. I'm back again, as always. My name is Sidenek, and I'll be casting you the, the games for you tonight. We have PVCC versus MCC up on the docket. And with me, my co-caster for this first oh game, we got the illustrious man back with us again tonight. How are you doing, ma'am? Hey, I'm doing good. As always, it's me, Mom, here on the stream. Is it Mom? Have I just been mispronouncing it this whole time? Well, it's it's short for Mamba without the A, so... Gotcha. But everybody calls me Mom also, because it kind of sounds like that, so you can call Mom, me whatever. man. Let's start calling you Steven. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever been called. Okay. Yo, I'm not even gonna ask. All right, so... Uh, so we got PVCC versus MCC again. So we already hopped into draft. We got all that done. It looks like on the PVCC side because they are playing blue tonight. They started off with banning Lux, Mordekaiser, and Ari, and then continued it with Maokai and Nidalee. And then on the side of MCC, they got rid of all the classic picks we see from getting banned out by <laughs> against PVCC which is the Gwen, the Silas, Vex, and then also tossing in Echo and Aurelian Soul into the mix there. So what are your thoughts on the bands? My good um, friend. Yeah, so looks like definitely targeting the comfort picks, but they did not target the comfort picks of PV's jungler, Mimon. He got his comfort Lilia pick. Um. So I, I don't know. I would like to see a little, little focus on Mimone's champion pool, personally. Mm -hmm. Well, at least when I, I play against, it, I, I don't. He <laughs> he always runs us over, so might as well ban him out. But it but looks I, like I, they tried because this week he has played quite a few games of that Echo Jungle. Has been really enjoying that. I remember yeah. last practice he played like four straight games of it. Oh. So well, may, maybe he's practiced it even more, and now they're just like, yeah, let's get rid of it, because maybe, <laughs> maybe, hopefully he might be a little rusty on other stuff. He might just be too deep in the echo sauce right now, you know? Yeah, 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 I definitely feel that, because when I play, and I'm, you know, I've been practicing a champion for a while, I'm ready for it, and then it gets banned out from under me, I'm like, I'm a little disappointed, and I, you know, so I, I can definitely see that. And then we also have the Aurelian Soul ban. I don't think anyone on either side really plays the Aurelian Soul. I think it's, it's just, more so just... It's just that champ's kind of kind of silly right now. Too new, hasn't had enough time to like get fully brought like to where it's a solid power. It's either incredibly strong or incredibly useless. And also, I don't know why they gave his flight Q more damage. It doesn't... I don't get it. He, he bursts you down at level five for no reason, and you're just like, okay, cool, see you later. Yeah, he's a uh, he's kind of turned into the the typical like Yasuo meme, the zero and ten power spike. It's like, you know, it doesn't matter how how much he's feeding, he'll just breathe on you a little bit, and you'll just die. As long as long as the game doesn't end, <laughs> he'll get stronger. He's a little right. too lore accurate for my liking. <laughs> when we look at bot side of, of the map. We're going to start there this week. We got Paradise Valley. We got the Jin Blitzcrank uh, versus MCC. We got the Caitlyn Vigar. Caitlyn Vigar, a little interesting. Um, it looks like they were originally going to go for Caitlyn Lux, which is why they banned out that Lux. Uh, so uh -huh. maybe to get rid of that angle. His demise does like to play the Caitlyn. He's played a couple games last season. I uh, I've seen them play it in like their just normal solo queue a couple times, so maybe just like a lot of comfort on the Caitlyn, counter picking with the Jin, you know, trying to keep that range. But all this, what, who do you think wins this, the Caitlyn Vigar or the Jin Blitz? Um, I mean, I do like the Caitlyn Vigar. Um, she the Caitlyn also gets mobility from her E the net. Um. So I think that'll help out with Lilia getting on her and keeping, you know, getting away from Blitzcrank. So, um, yeah, I like the Caitlyn Viger personally. 
get a lot of damage if Caitlyn gets her full combo off. If all if all Viger has to do is land his cage one time, and it's a lot of damage. Yep. As long as they can hit the cage down, and then Caitlyn's quick enough to drop a trap under the feet of who's ever stuck in the cage, that should be a free headshot reset. Yeah, I think Blitz is going to want to target that Viger, though, for sure. Yeah. Not no no real mobility options outside of flash, and burning Vigar's flash early is going to be really really bad for them. All right, and then in the mid lane we got Zoe Syndra, uh, both very like where the where did all that damage come from? Champion Syndra, they press the funny R button and all of a sudden your health's gone. Uh, Zoe, they press the funny EQ button, and then it's your health is all gone. Yeah, yeah, definitely gonna be watching for those um, sleepy treble bubbles over the wall. Because mm -hmm. if that hits, uh, if that hits Cindra, you know, Cindra, a very immobile champion, she might just, she might just die. Yeah, especially early, could take too much damage, get pushed out a pushed out a lane. Uh, but they do have the ability to. Kind of sit back here with their uh, the scaling that Syndra has with their new like, I guess it's not new. It was introduced last season, but the hatred shards or whatever they're called. Uh, wait, wait, that's not new anymore. <laughs> no, Damn. been out for a long time, bro. Man, in, in you just keep league. making me feel more and more old. <laughs> it's the Le this is the League of Legends world, bro. In League of Legends, one day is like an eternity. Anything that was discovered a week ago might as well have been discovered two and a half decades ago. The ribbon was uh, buffed this patch. Yeah, so, so I see I see glitchy was. Gwen picked it up. Yeah, the whole being able to use your um, your passive on turrets now. I like it. And uh, I don't really know why they included the part where you can see the passive. Yeah, it's like Aurelia, where whenever she well, has no, a stack, it puts it up it, on her above her helper. It's all, but doesn't Aurelia? You, everyone can see that. Um, I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think it's uh, only her. Oh uh, well. But you can see like her blades start glowing when it's yeah. fully stacked. But yeah, no, I, I like the ribbon. Uh, I was playing it the other day. It felt pretty pretty strong, a lot better than it felt last patch. So. Um, just that it's also not that enjoyable. Because, you know, set kind of wants her to all in. Mm -hmm. Just smack her in the face for doing all her damage. But, I, I think he'll probably get some help from, uh, Riven will get some help from their jungler, and as long as that happens, they might be able to snowball that Riven. Ooh, looks like a early uh, LCF Pro Invade right here. Yep. I mean, they have the they have the bliss crank. You pretty much have to go for it. Ribbon has her Q stacked up. No, nope, not gonna use it. Just gonna walk out. Good move from MCC. I mean, it's bliss crank. You you always got to be ready for that invade. So they just did a five point. As soon as they saw them coming, just walked away. Yep. Minions has spawned. Um, I'm looking at the top side of the map. There's Zinzo and Set sitting in the bush. Riven might walk into them. Nope, not gonna walk around. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. Well, I just get warmed up. It happens, you know. First couple bits of the day, it looks like since they knew they went into the other side of the, the jungle, they're just going to trade it back. Um, and essentially just, you know, just handshake away some, uh, the buff. It's going to be a bit of a surprise for Lilia when they get there, but we'll see what they're able to uh, do after the fact. Yeah, Lilia's probably not going to want to be fighting Xin Zhao um, yeah. in the jungle, so she's probably going to discover her blue gone, her grom gone, and she's just going to go maybe straight down to bot scuttle or something and look yeah. to gank bot. That's what I'm thinking. Look for a move there. It's always a possibility. It looks like they're just doing some early quick little trades in the bot side. Your Valley uh, just hitting them with that early uh, damage that you get from playing Jin. 
the funny four man. <laughs> Good cube, but unfortunately takes no. Oh, got a little. Looks like there's a little fight going on. Milan does have the level advantage. Yeah, he has red buff too. Yep, and the red buff is going to make this. Wow, a lot of damage coming out. Since uh, Zin Zhao was taking, getting help from XZ here, and then XZ had to leave pretty early, they took so much damage clearing that blue that it sets up for that play. Also, Smilemore needs to respect the, the, the move there. They yeah. Went, could have just taken blue, could have just taken Gromp and left, but they little greedy. got a little bit too far in, and they paid the price for it. But that's okay. Uh, speaking of greedy, Glitchy Glen creating uh, one Q damage for two turret shots. Right, might be uh, dead here. Might might be in a little bit of danger. I think he walked out of it. Yeah. Just able to get out. E. Maman. Now doing the exact again. same thing. Oh no! Respect them. Yeah. Uh, oh no! Red buff though. I mean, both both junglers here just kind of. Limit testing really of the dawn might be able to find them. And that'll do it. Yep, and they're able to pick them up on the way out. Yeah, well played by them. Well, Jungle is just trying to get as much as they can here. And, uh, oh, big hook being turned on to Sky J. The roof going to land a lot of damage. Bouncing grenade is going to hit. Will they be able to get ticked down by the Ignite? Yes, they will. Force Shot going to connect with Caitlyn. Gonna be able to back it out for now. Just gonna push the wave up some more. Yeah, and I think really that's what we were. Hook. That's what we were looking for was hooking that Vigar. Yeah, and now after Vigar did flash away, even though it didn't save them, uh, now they're even have an even bigger target on their back. Because uh, now Vigar, who was already incredibly immobile, now even more immobile. In a lot of danger here. Yeah, they're gonna have to sit back, maybe wait for a gank. Looks like uh, PVCC might just be choosing to walk it out. Uh, Deer Valley should have a good amount of gold here. Just to be able to, uh, yeah, looks like they're going to be picking up boots. Double longsword. Uh, that's pretty good volume right there. That's some, that's some good value. 20 damage to move speed. You don't, you don't hate that. You don't hate that. Wish they let's see what's going on in the mid lane. Will the camera take us to the mid lane? No, we're gonna watch when farm. All right, now we're gonna watch bot lane farm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it looks like they're just gonna it's gonna push out towards blue side here in the bot lane. Trying to hold it for as long as they can, but it's inevitable. More minions gonna make it all the way through. Like a lot of people reset on the side of MCC here. Watch and Zoe, that blitz. Zoe already has a lost chapter uh, compared to Syndra, who just has the amp tome and the uh, the sapphire crystal right there. So that's yeah. gonna be a pretty pretty big differential. And uh, Zoe might be able to start bullying here. Oh, a lot of damage going on to Brigsby, getting hit by the Peacemaker and the Falling Star from Vigar. I don't actually know what that what is that W called from Vigar? Um, you know? That's not the event horizon, right? Is that no, is that the uh it's it's, it's it's dark matter, that's what it dark is. Dark matter. Event horizon is the stun, you're correct. I thought dark matter might be his ultimate or something. Is that like okay. So we got it. Looks like Glitchy Gwen's gonna try and chase this up. I'm just gonna follow him. He sticks. Flash out. Very good W. Yep, very good gonna W. Saved him right there. Yep, kept them alive. All that grit. Trading flash for flash and getting the ulti. So once uh, XZ has their ulti, but looks in the top lane, it looks like Lily is there to, to pester and slow the recall. Ooh, good flash. Good. Yep. Able to keep up down. Exhaust going down to Deer Valley. Going to try and give it over to Deer Valley. The Sky Jay is going to take it down. The Root is going to find its mark. Lily's like really in a tough spot. Yes, Mark. Oh! Going to be taken down here. A lot of damage going out onto the dude, but not quite able to, able to finish them off yet. The directed camera doesn't know where to look. 
it's all over the place. So much action. I really wish that Riot would release the like full observers thing that they have, like for LCS and stuff. So that'd be super cool to use for MCL. But how does that work? I'm not entirely sure, but I think yeah. If I, if I'm understanding correctly, it might require multiple people. <laughs> full-time job um looking at the farm floors i get you know one one side one lane is ahead the next lane is behind but overall looks pretty even i guess well the only real lanes that are ahead here so if you look top lane it's like yes uh ribbon has more farm than set but set also has the kill so they are roughly even in gold because right. 20 farm is roughly a kill worth gold. So, set is not as far behind as it looks, just really in the level department is where they're struggling. And then when it comes to, um, when it comes to jungle, it, Smile War is a bit ahead because, you know, two assists is the same, uh, same gold as a kill. So they are just a little bit ahead, just about nine farm ahead. Looks like Glitchy Play trying to go in a bit of the dawn and Smile More looking for something. Smile more able to stay on top of Subdued, and Subdued's gonna be taken down. No flash. Yeah, unfortunately for Syndra, they had to flash into the enemy side of the jungle rather than their own. And again, Syndra, a mobile champion just like Viger. Yeah, the changes come down to can uh, Will Smile or punish that no flash uh, heavily enough that it could really make Zoe, like, free up Zoe for Rome. Oh, like they're going to demise. It is in a tough spot here. Gonna be able to get out. Ulti coming out from Zier Valley. It looks like Sky J is going to try and block as many shots as possible. Going to take a lot of damage himself. A little risk. Ramon taking a ton of damage from the EQ combo from Zoe. Forced to back up. It looks like Zier Valley is. I tried to continue something there, but. Gonna go against it. Of the Don, beautiful side step to dodge the stun. Stun. Gonna go chase forward. Okay, good dodge out with the E. Good play by both sides. X, XZ trying to keep him off. And Glitchy going trying to start the fight. I'm just gonna use the, the time to get up and pick Chris. A lot of damage coming out, and wow, the fast combo from Riven. Yeah. On to, of the dawn there. Yeah, the thing is, with Riven is her abilities are so fast. She, you know, stacks them and she can stun lock you very easily. So as a set, you need to be kind of preemptively oh. reacting. Big flash over the wall. No smile more. They're going to be able to chase. Going to use that three talent strike. The ultimate's going to come out and then they're going to Red wait buff. to secure the kill. Here it looks like Ramon is going on to the other side. Grigsby's going to be able to narrowly dodge the event horizon. It's like that demise is being taken down. Sky J is in a world of hurt right now. Kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. And Deer Valley's going to be able to pick up the kill there. But they might try posture for an objective. Not going to quite. They're looking to. Looking to maybe start a start drag when it comes up. It comes up in about, I believe, a, a minute-ish. Just looking for any advantage they can get around this bot side of the map. Start that going. Yeah. Zoe Probably. heading into the bot side. Rigsby getting hit by the ace in the hole, forced to walk out. Fear for their life. They do see up the dawn on the Lotus Trap. They do oh, just there. misses. Yep. The ultimate to get over the wall, get him back. Glitchy Gwen starting the fight. Just gonna do a little poke, a little quick in and out. Oh, I might be in danger here. Looks like they're gonna be able to get out though. Dodging out of the face breaker. Yeah. And it looks like this is up. Oh, are we gonna see something? No. Oh. Just just more quick trades. It's hard to really fight like either of these champions in a full-on all-in, because if one wants to leave, they will just leave. So 
like Griffin's the looking to all in here. Use the ultimate, doesn't have to W this time, so they're not going to be able to keep themselves alive. Very clean. Uh, the dude does a lot of damage there. Smilemore coming in might be able to secure it. Here's the dragon. Yep. Stays, keeps it alive. Yvonne exhausted, but is able to keep the fight going. The dude stays oh. alive. Beer oh! Ooh, the animation Where did Beer Valley go? Uh, he got hit by a long range <laughs> sleepy trouble bubble. <laughs> from downtown. I believe it came all the way over from the edge of like blue, uh, blue buck. Straight into the middle of the river. Was able to get uh, locked up and taken down. Anyone where you're looking at this? Oh my, back to base. We, we, didn't, we didn't have a whole lot of time to talk about the, the team comps. So who, what side here do you think is going to uh, be, which side would you prefer? Would I prefer, like, which which side would I prefer to be on? Yes. If you, um, if you were in this game, what side would you prefer? Um, probably Paradise Valley side. They have a really good um, kind of, like, all-in fighting comp. And I feel like, looks like the month's getting... Yep, Caught the jungle. Some spot on the other side of so. One trying to get out. Was able to get out with the the speed of Lilia, but up yeah. and down, not so lucky. But uh, but MCC they have very, I feel like very pick heavy team. Um, they have the Viger to catch people with, the uh, sleepy sleepy trouble bubble catch people over the wall, which we've already seen. It's very strong. They've Already used it. Curtain call coming down. Are they going to be able to find a lot of damage? No, not quite able to find all these shots. Just a little bit of poke, really, and it looks like... Looks like Smile more. Trying to look for someone somewhere. Wherever they can find a fight. I admit, going to pick up the wave. Yeah, top lane uh, needs some relief, I think. Yeah. Very down in levels, very down in farm at this point, and kills. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Oh, it looks like Maman is going to be able to find Smile more. This one is also going to be there. The ultimate's going to come out. Smile more taking a lot of damage. He's dealing a lot as well. Oh my god. Actually, it's like, then walks away. 1v3. Good, well-fought fight. The ultimate giving him all those extra resistance has really kept him alive through the Cinder ulti. Lands the bubble. She might die from this. Yep, and he's going to pick up the shutdown onto Glitchy Gwen. I think that bubble is going to be kind of their win con, catching people with it. Yep. All going to come down. If, right now, if Zoe dies at the start of a fight, they don't have much real way to pick off some of these bigger carries. Uh, they don't really have a way to deal with uh, Gwen at the moment. I mean, I shouldn't say that. Sin Zhao. Pretty good, pretty strong. As oh yeah, saw, his dude is very strong. Yep, Deer Valley forces flash out, ultimate coming out. Drake's in the cage. Drake's beast. beast is in danger here. Gonna use flash to try and get away. Two flashes picked up by Up and Dawn and used. Another and bubble, like, yeah, another just kill. Gonna be, just gonna be taken down. Yeah, Zoe is the... She can pretty much one-shot everybody. They don't have very, you know, overly tanky champions. Yeah, and Zoe is a very much stat check champion if you don't have Zoe and Syndra both. They, they very much are just stat check. If you don't have the health um, and defenses, you're just going to die. It doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't matter. It's like, oh, my stats were higher than yours? Cool, I win. Yeah. Uh, um, it is Infernal Drake too, and the MCC has two dragons, so if they get the soul this game, that Zoe is just gonna hurt so bad with that Infernal Soul, so... I do think um, MCC should, you know, really prioritize the dragon. But they already have the two dragons, so only need two more. But I feel like it would be very difficult for PV to deal with an Infernal Soul with the Zoe throwing bubbles and missiles over the wall. Yeah, especially if a rogue one catches Deer Valley or some dude here, it'd just be a knockout punch for the ages. Trying to get some deep vision, but Sky J is able to clear it out. 
Um, looks like everybody's hovering around Dragon, and that does have teleport available. Yeah, looking for the hook, not quite able to find it. Sky J moving forward. Looks like they might be trying to find Mangle and Smile more here to start it off. Lichy yeah. going on the side, looks like they're going to try and catch him out. He is getting he got caught. a lot of damage coming out. The ultimate is going to keep him alive for a bit, but it's not going to be enough. It looks like XD3O is going to be using his true damage. Trying to get the Haymaker through it. But they're going to be taken down. Glitchy Gwen going forward onto I'm Demise. Memorial Burst used by Vizard. Cursing Call. Oh, oh, he finds his man. Finds nice his shot. man. Good, good shot. They could try and start the dragon here. It could be a little dangerous. They do have the bike. The Vigard, no ultimate. And also Zoe is still there. It looks like Deer Valley. Just gonna try and threaten. Um, maybe he's trying to bait. Oh, lot damage. Deer Valley can cause that even danger, but it looks like they're good. Five a one for one. Be in danger. Okay, Ron going to secure the dragon. The dude getting hit by when she becomes lightning. Looks like they're gonna try and back it out now. And back it out. Yep. Getting that Infernal Drake is gonna help them out a decent bit. Gonna slow down. At least buy them a, essentially another ten at least ten minutes before uh, MCC possibly could have that dragon soul. MCC is looking at taking rift as well, so at least that's a trade uh, for the objectives there. One for one. At least getting something out of it is good. But it looks like that PVCC knows that they're there and it looks like they're posturing for some sort of angle of maybe trying to pick off a straggler. No, MCC not able to get there. With what they have, good choice. Yep, oh, Lichy went in a bit of danger here. Looks like Greek Steven is going to tank it and it looks like Smilemore is now the one in danger. xc 3 0 is going to be coming in on the fight. Still stop for use with Deer Valley is here as well. It's 4v3 Smilemore following up to Deer Valley. Lichy Glad getting in the middle of the fight. A lot of damage going out from both sides of the team. Deer Valley able to get out, but a lot of his team falls. Lichy Glenn and Grigsby both go down, able to pick off Smile more, but trading two for one is not what you want in this such a close game here. Yeah. Yeah, the gold, uh, gold difference is still pretty close, so. Very, very interested to see who ends up in the lead in the next few minutes as far as gold goes. It's been very back and forth. Very, very close. I mean, they're only about 2k apart, not even a full 2,000 gold apart. They're just gonna keep sort of fighting around mid, it looks like. Gear Valley trying to get as much far as he can, trying to get to like a third item. Uh, did, instead of going for uh, the Infinity Edge, immediately went for that Rapid Fire Cannon just because he needs to stay as far away from that set and uh, that the uh, Zin Zhao as possible. Yeah. Yeah, that extra range is very necessary. Yes. So hopefully, I think he's just trying to say, guys, let's not fight. Let's try and get, let me try and get at 3,400 gold so I can get myself a, uh, a nice little infinity edge picked up so I, I, I have some damage to really put some pressure on the enemy team. Smile more, stepping into a bunch of, uh, bunch of Lotus traps here. Staying off the midway. Holding on uh, to that Eye of the Herald. Looks like they're all grouping up around mid. They might try and do something here. DVCC pushes up any further. Looks like the E did find it's Mark there. Drake's Beef taking about half his health and damage. Yeah, Zoe did. Trouble level. Zoe did pick up the full Magi's as well. So, 10 stacks on that right now. If she can get some more kills, be even stronger. But then again, if she dies, she loses a lot of her power. Oh. She lands a double on Deer Valley, but blocked yeah. by Jermone. Blocked block by Jermone there. And like she must still die. Wow. Wow. 
of the dawn, still in a bit of danger. Oh. Milo's gonna be shut down. Yeah. And that is really bad for Plot back, plot shut down. Because those and 10 then stacks goes down as well. are gone. Yeah, that's a big loss in gold that she spent on that Medjai's as well. But, yeah, I mean, she she can build it back up, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, so now more gets hot, but... Smile more, so I'm gonna use the old thing to be able to block the floor of top and get a valley to the boat alive a little bit longer, but it's eventually gonna be taken down. Going yeah, straight so... to the turn. And the thing about, like, losing those 10 Medjai stacks, that's 50 ability power. That hurts. That's cool. <laughs> that is a lot. Also, you know, 10% of those people that have 10 stacks give you a pretty good level of stuff. That was a rather, rather quick Baron uh, from the CC there. They were able to get it up with the advances that they were able to, to build. Yeah, and now, now um, PV is up about 5,000 gold. Pretty hefty lead at this point, when it was dead even just a couple minutes ago. Well, these games are, are bound to turn pretty quickly. I mean, we've seen some, we've seen some games that go like fluctuate between the 5k either side mark. It's not a completely unreasonable amount to come back from. Looks like they're just gonna start fight around the dragon. Maybe looking for a 5v5. But if they don't do it, if they try and do it slowly, then PVCC might just go off to one of the lanes. It looks like Smilemore gonna be picked up and taken. Oh, hi, buddy. Down. Oh wow. With the war drinker. Still ends up going down. The crank gets taken down. Cinder kills off. Smile more than. Looks like they might be continuing the fight. They're looking for the pick onto Zoe and they do get it. Vigar's event horizon. Able to keep him alive. Flash used by Sky J there. And it looks like ah, the ultimate from, from Riven followed by the ultimate from Jin best find the smallest angle on this guy Jay there and picks him off. Yeah, unfortunately for MCC, they've been getting picked quite a few times in the last couple minutes. Um, I, I do think they need to kind of just play back, um, try to try to land some bubbles over the wall, try to get picks of their own, because that's where they were um, really succeeding early in the game, I think, where um, catching PVC out. And yep. at this point, they've been caught out a few times here, given up two, two dragons in a row now because of it. So I, I think they need to um, get their get their jungle warded up and kind of play around the Zoe bubbles. Yeah. And now it's either side is in, they're at the same point with the, uh, with the dragon soul. So there's no real real push to try and end it through the Dragon Soul now. Um, obviously both teams are going to try and go for it on spawn, but right now it's not as big of an issue for one side as it was before. Right. So you can still, you can, if a fight doesn't look good for MCC, they can decide to pull back and likewise for PVCC. If a fight doesn't look good around Dragon, they can go, okay, we can give this one up, just let them get on Soul Point, and we'll, we'll live to fight another day. UCC advancing into the jungle though. Getting some deep vision. They do know roughly where. They know where two numbers are. They are gonna try and steal away the red buff, but not quite. Now yeah. one stealing away that red buff wouldn't really give them any advantage, but I mean it might make Smile more play bad because still <laughs> Yeah, I mean T take everything you can get. I mean, their you know PV's comp is very brawling, heavy. You know they want to fight, and get in there. Um, so I, feel I like mean, for an angle on Smile more again. Smile more gonna go in on Jin. The Ace and the Hole going to come out to find his way onto Deer Valley. A lot of damage going on Smile more, but not quite able to be still on just yet. A bit of danger here. Glitchy went on a killing spree, taking up a Caitlyn, gonna get a double. But he keeps moving it forward, that shield coming in clutch, keeping him alive. The showstopper isn't going to stop him this one, but it's hurting for MCC here. They're going to keep advancing on to the base, going to go straight through Miss Smilemore. The last line of defense, the last line of hope, going to get their back stopped. 
they are going to have to try and walk of shame it back, but they are in a bit of danger here. Yeah, they can't leave under that turret. Um, looks like they're just going to try and push for the end right here. One turret falls, two turret falls, and so next Caitlin is are up, the next, next is dead. Too much damage. Very quick end there. Them sometimes in League of Legends. A game could be stalemated, locked in place for 25 minutes, and then off of one fight. Okay, the game's over now. It looked like a completely even position, and then one small thing happens, and all of a sudden the game's blown wide open. But very, yeah. very good showing in the first game from both these teams. Right, yeah, I, I think uh, MCC was very impressive in the early and, and even in the mid game there, but I think they just got caught a couple times, um, so I'd like to see how they bounce back if they go with a similar comp with the pick heavy, you know, with Zoe, or if they want to change it up next game. Yeah, maybe look for more of a sort of, maybe stray away from the sort of skirmishy type thing that they were doing, maybe go full team fight, or maybe maybe double down say hey it worked well we're just gonna we know what we did wrong last time we're gonna fix it this time um and we'll all be good all right and we'll see you all in a bit
Everybody, welcome back to game two of Paradise Valley versus Mesa. Looks like we kept it very, very simple here. Looks like blue side going back over to Paradise Valley and Mesa opting into that red side once again, ma'am. What do you think about when I just want to get a player's perspective on this when you're doing the when you go into game two and you have the choice what what are you thinking when oh we're just gonna take the same side again are you thinking just just what are you thinking um uh as far as pv's perspective or what what if you lose game one and you get to choose what uh, what side what what are you thinking when when it comes to that decision uh Always blue side, right? Because it's statistically the best side. That's that's in my mind. You just always go with blue side, no matter <laughs> yeah. if you have the option. It's just blue side. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care about the strategy. I don't care about like the, you know the objectives. Just just take blue side. It wins most games. I don't know why, but that's that's what I that's what I think. All right. All right. Then I guess I get. I guess that's it. That's what goes through people's mind. They go. I like blue or I like red. There's no strategy involved at all. It beats you. Point four seven percent win rate for blue side. Oh, my light guns would have brightened your Let's, uh, I, I side with the statistics. Wow. What an, what an insane advantage. And it looks like on the side of PVCC, we got some some odd choices going on. We got Rengar top. Whoa. We got Echo jungle. We got Kale mid. Versus, Lucianami. And then Lucianami bot lane, El Clasico. We have and we got channel our inner LTK captors here. Yeah, gonna see it all the time. The only thing we can make this, the only thing that would make this more LTK is if instead of Zaya Thresh, it was Zeri Yumi. Yep. Even though Yumi got nerfed, but they still play it because uh, funny yeah. cat. Hey, I won a game with Yumi the other day. That's 40, great. Forty percent win rate champion. I just want you to know, if you ever win a game with Yumi, don't admit that to me. I will. <laughs> I, I'll be upset with you. Uh, it wasn't my choice. <laughs> yeah, well, just hope I don't see it. All right, we got Shen, Gragas, Syndra, and then Zaya, Thresh. So, like last game, what side, when it comes to these two drafts, which side would you prefer to be on, my friend? Um, uh, this is a very weird comp. Like, I don't even, it, I don't know how to break this down but i'm gonna say again i like mcc's comp mm -hmm. um the shen is going to be very nice to keep the cinder or the zaya alive the gragas um can pick people go all in go tanky go damage um you did say memon was playing a bit of the echo though and it's the first time i've seen him on it so i I do want to see how he does with that, but I mean, overall, I, I like the I like MCC's comp. The Kale mid is interesting, as well as the Rengar top. Both kind of off-meta picks. Like, they're both champions that can go in those lanes, and people play them there, but it's not like they're primary lanes, so, yeah, that's interesting. I think, I think we've hit the point in the game where we're uh, in the sauce. We're, we're a little deep in the sauce, I think. We are. I like it. I, I like I like these fun off meta picks, but you know, when you're doing these things, uh, when you look back on it, it's going to be a little bit hard because there's like, from a coaching perspective, it's was the plays you made bad or was the pick just not useful, you know? Yeah. So when, if what PVCC and MCC are going to look at like this game, when it comes to a learning standpoint, it's okay. I played against I played Shen Rangar, right? And then MCCC is just going to be like, okay, did I play Shen bad if we lose? Or did I play Shen well if we win? Or was it that Rangar was either OP or completely troll? It's going to be... So when, when they look at this game afterwards, it might be a little bit more so like, what did we actually gain here? But Shen Rangar, who do you think wins that matchup? Um, uh, I think um, I think Rengar wins the the kind of one v one top lane island matchup because Shen's Shen's just gonna be looking to support the team. Rengar is gonna be looking to get fed and snowball. So 
I mean, I I think uh, Shen is going to want to kind of not be super aggro against the Rengar. Mm -hmm. Plus, Rengar can W out of the taunt. I believe he can do that, right? Taunt does yes. Taunt, taunt's not one of those abilities that he can't get out of. It's yeah. It's just suppression and uh, knock up. And I think even suppression ring I can get out of some now. I don't know which ones you can still cleanse, cleanse as Rengar. Okay, but what about so? How do you think mid lane is gonna go? I'm pretty sure Kale is gonna lose pretty early because melee into range historically is very bad for the melee side, and Kale, as pretty much everyone knows very very bad in the early game because they're incredibly incredibly strong in the late game so, um so do yeah. you think it's going they're going to be able to survive long enough or do you think Syndra's going to be able to get a big lead going into as, as before they leave laning phase um yeah i mean i can see i can see Syndra getting ahead here especially if gragas decides to kind of camp mid a little bit um mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely see Syndra winning this matchup. Um, early game, obviously. I'm not talking about late game. Um, early game, you know, Kale likes to play into kind of melee champs because she's actually deceptively strong uh, as a melee champion early. Um, she did take lethal tempo, which yep. I don't know if she'll really, really be able to get that off very much on Syndra early. Mm -hmm. So I think she's Kale is fully committed to just kind of probably playing it slow and then just being a mid to late game menace yeah play for late yeah i don't think we'll see kale take too many risks mid against Tindra. arm it up just chilling it looks like it looks like this time it looks like mcc is going to opt for the uh level <laughs> level one all in are we, going, are we going to see the classic the classic deer valley play where game two, he gets hooked. Level one, burns flash, and dies anyways to the invade. Sounds Is like you're exposing him a little bit. What? It sounds like you're exposing him a little bit there. Look, it's happened It's it happened when we played you guys in practice twice. It, it happened when... It's something about Maybe Deer Valley in game two. They just don't like each other. <laughs> the first five minutes of game two deer valley just loses his mind it's kind of funny but you know i, I love it i think it's fun to watch <laughs> i moonlight as a shark look he normally wins game two when that happens so i guess maybe it's like a good omen Sometimes you know if i die here it's somehow strategic in a way that no one else understands deer valley method I might try that out actually. <laughs> Dying level one. <laughs> Don't try it in your rank games, kids. Your teammates not, aren't gonna like the Deer Valley method. Not gonna be on board. Does, does Lucian Nami play aggressive early? It, yeah. When, once they're like level three, they can kind of all in just about anyone. Um. One of the real, like, counters to it that we've seen in, like, pro play is that you have to poke them out level one. A lot of the uh, plays that we've seen them get beaten is with, like, press the attack, um, Sivir. Lens used, so playing a little bit too aggressive right here. It looks like Blitz is Len jumping in, jumping out, doing the Rangar thing. As, uh, Ignite instead of teleport. So, but I guess you'd, you'd expect that from Rengar, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah pretty much. Playing with the level advantage as well. It seems Glitchy Gwen does that a lot, you know, gets that early level advantage and really pressures their opponent. I mean, that's how you gotta do it. And then just using the fact that they have no mana, uh, like, she just poke with whatever abilities they have on hand. Just hit him with the 20 damage E because hit him with enough of them, that would be good. Just out of range of the turret. I think Almost he did really take one shot though. Yeah. Took one shot from the jump because the it's very weird, but there's like sort of a third dimension to League of Legends. I 
don't know exactly how to describe it, but there is like a slight three-dimensional element to um, League of Legends that makes all sorts of skill shots that look like they won't hit hit when your character's supposed to be. Oh, big bubble from Grigsby. He's going to be able to stop it. Sky J. Oh, good for Dick. Oh, but the Q. Goes down anyway, it's like it's first blood. Yep, Gragas being there, really good. Really good from both teams. Good bubble, but then also a good flash predict from Sky J. Gonna be able to uh, get Grigsby killed there. And so now uh, that uh, bot lane is level 3, Deer Valley is probably going to look to do some sort of all any stuff uh, with Nami. So if a bubble ever get hits, they're just going to look for an all-in. It looks like Gragas is over the wall um, looking for maybe an angle. Stops his recall. recall. Stops the recall. Has the W, E flat, Q. Can be picked up by Up the Dawn. Really good play. Big wave crashing bot. Mim is sneaked in the bush in lane, but they're pushed under turret pretty much, so Shen's playing so far back, you know, five farm. He can't walk up because Rengar just jumped out of the bush like that. I, 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 didn't even, I didn't even notice it was five farm. So canceling it back. I just don't think. Yeah, I don't think they can do anything here yet. Can't pull this recall again. Yeah, wasting a lot of time. Looks like Memon. Yeah, they really want to try something, but yeah, it's a little too much. Too much basic time. Minions are just mini wave, just building up too much, pushing into the turret. Yeah, and now Gregs is top side, looking to help uh, their top laner get get into the double digits. <laughs> A farm. There we go. All right. And we got a pretty big wave for PVCC in the bot. Looks like Deer Valley has a coal. You know, I've never built coal in my life, but I was told the other day that's a very good item. It is a very good item. If you don't intend to fight too much, or like if you think if you are really good at like. Getting all the CS. Oh, live damage going out onto Demise. Flash views from both sides. Ultimate coming out from Shen. Stand United. Gonna be able to walk it away. Trying to waste XC3O's time. Ooh, big. Yeah, big damage. Yeah, big damage onto Grigsby. Just a little bit too far up there. And yeah, that's very fortunate for Shen. Because um, it looks kind of like a wasted channel out there. You know, they backed off as soon as it came down. He almost got nothing out of it, but they end up pulling out the kill, which is yeah. very good for them. Three kills on the MCC to start this game off. Got a bit of a lead. Looks like they're going to also be started up the Dragon. Just going to be knocking that down real quick uh, while Nami is dead. So this is sort of where, in a 2v2 scenario, uh, Lucian and Nami should be able to survive, like, really survive. Especially once, uh, Deer Valley, like, from here, and then once Deer Valley gets ultimate, it's really good. Uh, the Zaya ultimate will stop a lot of any plays that they can make post-6. So they might need to find an angle pretty quick here. So it looks like they're just gonna recall. Zion Thresh just hanging out, chilling out, vibing. And it looks like Sadu has survived the lane without too terribly much uh, trouble. Multi going out, barrier pop by Of the Dawn. You get the push. Sadu flashing in, looking for damage, but not quite able to find the rest of it. Syndra used Flash and Barrier for Kale's Flash and Ultimate. But I guess they did both use Ultimate, so... Is what it is if you're in M MCC is in control of the game, it's up to them to now like, push it forward, snowball it further. Let's see if yeah. they can manage it. We'll see if they 
are gonna switch it up from last game. Because last game, I feel like it was pretty similar to how this game is going. And that their loot just kind of slipped away. But, I mean, much more solid looking so far, I think. Mm -hmm. It's like Rengar in a bit of trouble here. Echo is on his way. Flash used by Rengar. Ultimate coming Third. out. Big close and fast. Flash used by Smilemore. Flash used by XD3L. Looks like a lot of damage going out in Deer Valley. Deer Valley able to pick up Sky J. The ultimate coming out. Barrel going over the wall. Flash used by Milan. He's going to be able to get out of there. First kill for Lucian Namia for PV as well. So first kill for the entire team. And a uh, little cross map trading there. Lucian's out of mana. Can't do a lot here. Yeah, but still auto attacks still do a lot. Especially those uh, those empowered autos whenever he gets uh, his own Lightbringer procs. And also whenever he gets any sort of empowered autos from... Uh, Nami, the fish. I literally could not remember the name of that champion. The fish. Flash. Going to be able to pick up Grigsby here. Another kill into the Syndra. Syndra getting a little bit. The Syndra's gonna be scary. Yep. Oh, Taunt just goes a little bit wide. A lot of damage onto XE3O. It looks like. Looks like they might be looking for a play mid. Sky J coming over the wall, perhaps? Nope, just getting some wards. Zidane not showing yet. Maman picking up the Rift Herald. Stun lands. Damage coming out onto Subdued. Good amount of damage. Good chunk there. It looks like they might be looking. Smile more. Doesn't know that the Rengar is behind them. Now they do. Sky J is there. It's a 3v3. It's actually going to be a 3v2 of the Dawn. Able to pick up. To do it right before the fight starts. The Dawn and the Dane are going to be using the ultimate to get back in and get some health back. But it looks like he's not going to be able to stay alive. Explosive cast going to find its mark and take him down. This drag has been huge for setting up this kill so far. A lot of damage. And he's always he's throwing the barrel in perfect spots too. Have been able to find uh, a lot of good angles so far in the game. Bot lane, Zaya is farming under turret pretty well, holding off on their own. I'm not letting them get too much of an advantage for Sky J being gone so long. Looks like they know. Deer Valley now knows that they know that he knows that they're he knows, you know? Where he is. Folks trying to find Grigsby, not gonna be able to quite land yet. Looks like Lantern gonna go out to Gragas, but not gonna continue the fight there. Just Sort of chilling for now. Oh, first night's Q on Nami. Yep, big stun, big stun. Looks like Maman is coming down. Sky J gonna get the Shen ultimate onto him. Shen ultimate gonna go all the way through this time. It's honestly yeah. best case scenario for Shen. <laughs> yeah, and if that's he ported in, he might die too. Yeah, if, it, if they just waited a second longer, they might have been able to kill Shen as well, but. It's also very dangerous, they didn't know where Dragus was quite at that moment. And if Dragus is there too, that becomes a very dangerous scenario for them to on. In a bit of danger, the source of cast can go out, not going to be able to find this mark there. To be able to dodge out there. Rick B can be taken down, EW. Night Harvester Dragus does a surprising bit of damage. Like blue side to summon the rift, just getting summoning it because they have no uh, no other option at that point. Might as well use it and if they do nothing, not use it all, I guess. Just let it go to waste. 
Okay, it looks like we have a chem tech map coming out here. Looks like Shelly's gonna keep kill a few minions. Push the wave out a little bit. Thank you, Shelly. Shelly said, you're bot lane, let me, let me push this wave for you. I got you, homie. Okay, see you later. I'm dead now. Ooh, it was the dude getting poked just by the edge of that push there. Her range really well against this Kale mid, even though Kale now has range. One more level up, just one level until level 11 though for Kale. She will become a different champion. But nonetheless, Indra is doing a very good job at keeping her range. I'm keeping the spacing well. Oh, big damage coming out. She does not have her E at this point though, so she is a little susceptible since Echo and Ringo are both looking mid. Yep. Big flash from Sky J. Use your E. Very simple. Ultimate use. Flash coming out. Looks like they might just be continuing on. The dude's gonna find it and it's gonna be a big shutdown. Ash not gonna quite be able to find anyone. So dude in a bit of danger here. It looks like Sky J's gonna come off. The monster might have been a more on the side. But actually, three has gonna be able to just barely find it. Looks like gonna try and find Sky J. It looks like they're going to be picked off. One by one. Echo actually had to arc under a turret. Clear Valley. Forward. Tsunami gonna be used. Echo's gonna get a turret mid. Clear Valley might be looking for some damage on to the Gragas. Lantern used, but he said, don't worry about this, homie. I can just belly bump my way out of here. Higher wave cleared by Gragas in half a second um, because alcohol is super effective against minions. Power. So, what I'm really confused about the game is 3 to 12, right? The goal, however, isn't even a K apart. Yeah. Um, 40 CS up in the bot lane, almost like 90 CS up in the top lane. Really keeping it even. It looks like they're going on trying to find an angle on scale. Scale's doing a lot of damage now with that wave. Uh, the ultimate gonna be used by Shen. Trying to look for scale. Scale might not be ultimate. It looks like Glitchy Gwen on the bot side fighting up the dawn. Uh, it's like the dawn does not. Might not have the damage, also gonna be used, but Glitchy Gwen is gonna take them out. Topside fight is still happening. Big tidal wave coming out from Nami, not gonna be able to find any of its marks. I don't know how. It looked like someone was gonna die top lane, and nothing happened. They all just kind of beat each other up for a bit. I could have sworn either uh, Shen or Kale was gonna die in that fight, but no. After it cut away, there was nothing happening. there. So I don't know. Kale didn't even have ulti available, so it, I guess it's pretty best that they didn't. The ability is now up though, just came up off cooldown, so they might be able to look for something here. A little bit more risky of a play. Um, more of a four. It looks like Kale might just be trying to uh, hang out in the top side and bully this Shen. Now Shen it's 4 to 12 with the TV being in the lead by 1k gold. Yeah, because uh, Thinder had a huge shutdown on her. That Rengar was able to pick up. Let's see how many more targets does Rengar need for that bone tube and necklace. Uh, Red team's turret has been destroyed. Still have he does, right? I'm not crazy. I believe he does. Oh yes, he does. He has one kill. Okay, so he only has the one for killing uh, Syndrome. Does so he need he... to get the kill for it to count, or can he get an assist? He needs an assist, but it has to be within three seconds of his last bit of damage. And you don't get an assist. You, you get an assist even if it's beyond three seconds. So he needs to be like relatively close. 
And I guess his other his assist wasn't close enough. Just outside. Or it might have also been sick. Another pocket cover. Alright, so that's different angle here. Going in, red team gonna slay the dragon, oh. and they're going to slay Mamal in there. Didn't have enough time, the R got knocked up immediately. That is full point for MCC. Okay, big hard steel proc. Just getting that extra health. 27 health. Let's go. 27 health from hard steel. GG, game's over. Game's over. Go next. Flex the dude. Might be caught up by Sky J. Flash. E Q Muse. Looks like they might be looking for an angle on the XE3O uh, or on the Sky J here. They're going to be able to pick up XE3O and then continue it forward on the Sky J. They're going for the Gragas of the Dawn is here to assist. Going to call it quick to back it out. Actually, it looks like Kyle is looking for a fight, so they're going to keep going. Rangar going in on Sindri. Sindri using the Zillion's Hours Blast. Big stun from Strixby. Oh. Flash. Jump. Q is going to take shut down. down. Big shut down on the Dragon Salon. In a fight with Demise here. A lot of being used, but Echo the Assassin is still in it. 3-3-0. Three, three and oh. Of a lot of just turned around for BBCC. They did just pick up four kills. I believe now uh, Glenn is almost fully stacked bones. I think he's only for you. They have left to uh, oh, just turn it around. It looks like they found their they found their momentum, They're moving it forward. Yeah, the only person they have left to kill is Demise. To get that fully stacked bone too. Yeah. And he will be looking to do that since it's an ADC. Mm -hmm. Big, big damage coming in from uh, pretty much all members of their team now. Kale does a lot, Rengar does a lot, Echo does a lot, Lucian has done a lot since the beginning. It's starting to slow down a bit because, you know. As it gets later in the game, uh, Lucian starts to get a little bit weaker. I guess not really weak, but he's just weaker than he is early, you know? Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to see where MCC, like where this is kind of starting to slip. It looks like they're looking for Smile more. Ulti can be used by Maman there. Might have been a slip of the finger, but... Ooh, big E flat. Smile more. The ult is going to be used. A lot of damage going out in the Deer Valley. The Deer Valley just not quite hitting this way. Big shutdown. Smile more to take down. Ramon on the other side picking up on the Dawn. Sky J in a bit of danger. It looks like Lippy Glenn tried to find their way on to Zaya, but wasn't quite able to do it. XE 3 0 there to intercept. So will be enough. Ultimate use. Ultimate used by Zaya trying to keep themselves alive. Most of the looking for it, and it's gonna be a one for five. Bringing the kill score to even, but the goal lead says anything but this game is even. They're gonna be pushing forward, just maybe taking the inhibitor and backing it out. Just saying, all right, that's enough for us. We'll get out of here now. Thank you. It was a really. It looks like the start of a really good fight. They for uh, MCC there, because they were able to get Deer Valley out and out of position using the explosive cast, almost able to kill them uh, immediately, but weren't able to continue the fight forward. Just too many damage threats, it looks like. Bricks Beef picking up a blue buff for themselves. And my, how the tables have turned. It, it looks like they might try and start a fight around the dragon, saying, Want, and they want MCC to come back to them. So PVCC gonna set up a round for Dragon. Say if you want the soul, you're gonna have to fight us for it. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know if that's a fight they want right now, based on the last one. I mean, it's a tough spot. They want that soul. They need that soul. But I don't know if they can fight them for it. 
Tiger Valley, just finding a little bit of poke damage onto Sky J. Ultimate gonna be used, the culling. He says, I want my wife back. Deer Valley is gonna, is gonna take down the man who killed his wife. Yeah. But I think that's Deer Valley. Poke. Oh, explosive cast used, but not gonna quite be able to find a spark. Licky Glenn going on to smile more there. A lot of damage used, but the stun is going to be a plant's mark. Demise looking for a root, but not quite able to find it. Smile, Smile more is going to be able to take down Deer Valley, but it looks like he might be in a spot of bother himself. Glitchy Gwen going to go on to them. Ultimate going to be used by Shen. Will they continue to fight forward? Yes, it looks like they're going to try and keep this momentum going. They don't have Deer Valley, so let's try and punish them. But no, they're now actually going to back it up. Yeah, TV takes the dragon. Um, no reason to fight. And that dragon, that extra heal and shield power, will really uh, help. I mean, a lot of their team has healing and shielding in their kit. Uh, I know Rengar has that sort of self heal from his W. I don't know if that will actually count. It's not. I don't think it's technically healing. You know? Uh, but then... Yeah, it's, it's called recovery. Yeah, it's something odd. It's like, health restore. Oh, wow, Grigsby's getting taken down. What a huge XP trio. Caught in the middle of it all. So he went looking for it to do the rank on the of the Might be in a bit of danger. Zarya is gonna be used. Trying to find other dumb, but not quite able to do it. XP trio. Taking a bit of damage there, but... Not gonna be put in any danger yet. Three going down for PV there. Were able, they were able to find a good angle onto their team there. Just what, Glitchy Gwen doing the Rengar things. Going invisible and standing still because no one's nearby, so there's nothing your ult really does. So you're just sad. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Well, 100 farm difference between Rengar and Shen at this point, but I mean, Shen's getting some very good R's off. Keeping a couple of team members alive. Rengar just needs 7, 8 farm, 9 farm for the Flame Horizon. Ah, oh, so I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> There's a lot of bowling's been going on. Really trying to keep Shen as down as possible. They might be looking for an angle onto Sky J here. The Brood is going to land. It looks like Sky J might be in trouble here. Big tidal wave going to be knocking up Zaya as well. Deer Valley though. That's a different target in mind. Going to Zagus, but Sky is the off top Looks like they're just gonna go straight on to the Baron. MCC is calling for Baron and just gonna start burning it down as quick as possible. MCC might be looking for the fight though. Will he win? Healing on Red win. Team steals. Smile more going to be able to get in the Baron pit and is able to keep it alive. Flash over the walls. He's gonna take their life for it. I'm the mice getting picked up on the side. XE 3 0 getting sold out by Of the Dawn, getting sent so far away with the blast coat. Says, I don't want to do this no more. I want out of here. All right. Yeah, a couple members of MCC still have a fair buff. Yeah. Oh, oh it might not be for long. Yeah, good dodge from Deer Valley. Looks like he's looking for up the dawn. Going to get like he's going to be picked off himself. Deploy him anyways. He picked up himself there. We're able to get the Baron buff off of XE30. The Dawn is able to find Griggs Beef in the meantime. This one's a bit more scrappy. And it looks like Sadu doing the Kale thing where it's just like, I'm just gonna go anywhere where there's not fighting so I can get level 16. So once I get level 16, better hit the FF button. <laughs> Dragon's coming up pretty soon. Um, 
what do you think MCC should do here? Do you think they should fight for it or kind of? I, I think that if they want to fight for it here, they need to pick someone for the start of the fight uh, because actually from this point here, right now they should really just give because look at how far away Zaya is. If Zaya and Shen's place were swat, you could easily fight this because Shen could just hold the into the fight or use teleport. Uh, but since they're not, Zaya has to walk all the way down here. And they need to be looking for a pick right like right now. They need to look for something. Smile more. Uh, not quite going to be able to land the E onto anyone. Looks like Deer Valley is in a bit of trouble here. Looks like Sky Jerry just going for the EQ. Flashed immediately to get himself out of there. Really good by Deer Valley to keep himself alive. Good. That's what MCC wants. That's what you pretty much need. You want to get a uh, big cooldowns out of there, out of any like squishy target they can. Deer Valley, no ultimate, no flash. That's a lot of their their damage gone right there, and it puts Deer Valley in a really awkward position. Wow, a lot of damage on Sky J. Big tidal wave. Not gonna be able to see the fight forward. MCC is going to have to back off, Sky J is in no position to fight, he has to back off completely. Smile more taking a bit of damage, Explosive Cast going to be used to keep everyone out of the fight as far as they can. Bomb coming to be used. Looks like... This is King Rengar. No, he is not. Looks like... Looks like Smile more might be going for another steal, not quite going to be able to find the angle just yet. So that's a second break over to DVCC. Going to be able to continue to fight forward. And try and get Kale into that just sort of side of the map where they need to like be pressuring. Just trying to keep them bot lane when they want to pressure on top. Sky J taking a lot of damage here from Pushy Gwen. Taunt to be used. Going to be stunned. Actually, we are going to be stunned. Ultimate's going to be used by Of the Dawn Shut Down. Going on to Demise here. Valley taking a lot of damage here. Ultimate going to be used. By XE3 to keep his jungler alive, but they're gonna be able to peel out here. Meanwhile, off the side of the map, Kale's uh doing campaigns. Meanwhile. It's like yeah. it's like you know when you're watching like like Naruto or something, and there's a big fight and like Naruto's fighting pain, and then they just randomly cut to like just some guys talking in the street. Just some, it's just like a complete, <laughs> all right. Meanwhile, commerce is happening, you know? Stuff's happening over here, who cares? Anyways, back to the fight. Um, yeah, I'm a little worried for MCC at this point, they can they can pick some people off here and there, but I mean I know PV really excels at their mid to late game grouping together, uh, playing around each other, and not getting picked off. So. Angles here. It's like Deer Valley. All right, from where we are now, do you think this game goes to 40 minutes? Do you um, think do you think this game will be longer than 40 minutes? Uh Yeah. I'm going to say yes. I think I think MCC is going to respect uh, the strength of PV right now and I don't think they're going to They're not going to do anything for... too dire. Mm -hmm. Well, neither team really has to do anything dire. The cold is very similar. But when it comes to dragons, MCC is in the lead. Uh Baron's not up, so they don't. Root. Neither team has to really fight if they want to. They could honestly go either way. If either if someone gets picked on either side, it could be a lot. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Baron is fine. Lots of good cards. Smile more having Zanyas, but he's gonna be picked off on the side by the Coley. A lot of damage coming around. He's gonna be able to keep himself alive. Actually, three O and a bit of danger here. He's going to be taken down. Four for one. Looks like they're flash four. It looks like they just want to get the last kill and get root used and multi used, but not going to be enough because 
Force of nature. Well, Force I of was nature, wrong. Rengar. All right. Well, yeah. you proved me wrong very quickly. I did. I I just was wondering. <laughs> MCC was very strong, very competitive. Um, I mean, they were win they were what ahead ten kills in the early game. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I think they will vod review and kind of work out the kinks. But I mean, very strong showing from them. I thought. I agree, and also it's just like it really kind of just goes to show how, like, when it comes to like these higher level of teams, right? The kill is kill differential is like four to thirteen, but the game is dead even because like we didn't PVCC was like, oh no, I we can give up all these kills because we're just gonna make up all the gold in farm anyways. It doesn't matter. We'll just we'll just starve them out of farm, we'll just use wave mechanics to keep them gold starved. The only way they're gonna get gold is from kills, it's fine. And then yeah. once once and in both games, as soon as like for either side one small mistake happens from PVCC and MCC gets three kills. Or one small mistake happens, like someone is slightly too far forward or slightly too far back from MCC, PVCC chomps down, gets three kills, or gets an objective, you know? And it just, both these teams just going back and forth, just punishing the mistakes the other team was making. It was really, really fun, uh, some fun to watch games. I enjoyed it. Yeah, do you think, uh, do you think the Rengar top is here to stay for this season, or I think it was kind of just a little one-off game. You never know. It might have just been like a one-off, like uh, last pick, whatever. Uh, we ball sort of pick, but you never know. Maybe it'll stay. Maybe it'll go. Uh, maybe but it'll we, be something we'll... crazier next week. You me top. <laughs> no. Different different cat in the top plane. It was all well and good, but thank you all for watching. Mom, if you have any final words for the audience. Uh, no, thanks for watching. All right. Well, we'll see you all next week. Take care.